all you have to do is start moving these areas to their correct location based on his layout of his plan and then he could go back to his plan and everything will be automatically updated on a client consultation that i did i did lay out some of uh, my clients plans i could see all of them together at once what i noticed was that there was a pattern for for some drafting process and it was about here on this site building data most of their projects he had to manually calculate this portion of his cover sheet dividing by this factor then adding those two factors to finally get this uh, value by doing this manually not only will take time but also it will be prone to human errors one of the first thing i did was create a series of polylines as you can see here this is a regular polyline as you can see i created three polylines uh, one for the uh, tenant gross area one for the kitchen area and one for the customer area as you can see this was because we had three different area calculations here. Once I create those polylines, those three different polylines with three different colors, it was time to start adding some smart text. I could get this area of these objects. And the way I did it was I selected that piece of text and you can see it is in paper space or layout. I needed to bring this text into, into model space. The way I did it uh, was creating a viewport using the MV shortcut to create a viewport. This viewport was only to change my uh, text from model to paper space. So the, the idea is that we could select that text and send it to model space using this command change space. Once I send it to model space, I could do PS to go to paper space and then press enter. That's the text clicking on it and say insert field. Over here, the option that I needed was the object. Once I clicked the select objects, I could immediately select my object. In this case, my area or polyline, which was this one here. And then the area would be there. I clicked OK and I got my number there associated with my first area, in this case, the tenant gross area. How did I send this back to paper space? The way I did it was using the same uh, procedure, getting inside my, let's see over here, inside my viewport by double clicking on it. And then uh, we will have our text. So there, I use the same command, change space to bring it back. And I have my smart text here to place it where I need it. So that I associated the first tenant gross area to the specific polyline. So I did the same procedure for the other areas. Once I had those three different areas, the tenant gross area, as well as the kitchen and customer, I needed to calculate the area code review. And what was the area code review? According to my client was simply the area where work was happening. And that was this area over here. All I had to do was then adding those together by having a text, a text there, uh, the same way we did it before, I uh, clicked and say insert field. Once I did that, uh, instead of picking an object, what I did is I used the formula option. I did click and say insert field. And the reason why I did it was because I needed to select my objects and pick the kitchen area number here, picking the, uh, in this case, the content. You can see. I could add those two numbers using this plus, and that way um, by selecting those two numbers, the kitchen area, as well as the customer area, I will have the total here for the area code review. The next thing was using the same procedure, I had to divide by 200 
to get the number of occupants here and the same procedure insert a field click to use this value here by clicking insert field select objects select the kitchen area you utilize the content for the number and then once i had that i use this divide character and then i just typed this 200 for the factor and then clicked okay once i had that value i applied the same procedure but in this case utilizing the customer area over here the last bar was to add these two values to get the overall total occupant in this case i did a plus calculation by selecting these two values over here using the same steps to do or create a project all he had to do was replace his floor plan from the extra palette by going over here and opening his new floor plan selecting it click it open and then all he'll have to do is start moving these areas to their correct location and then put it there or he could also add some some vertex if he wanted based on his layout of his plan and then he could go back to his plan and everything will be automatically updated he doesn't have to worry about this data anymore if you want to streamline your autocad workflows join our lazy professionals and business owners at patreon slash lazy architecture